for your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. Now that the lockout is officially over, I now have some on-the-court news. Karan Butler of the defending champion Dallas Mavericks inked a deal with the LA Clippers for three years worth $24 million, and the LA Lakers thought they had a trade for all-star point guard Chris Paul of the New Orleans Hornets until the league decided to nix the deal for what they call basketball reasons. But it is widely believed that some owners of small market teams complain to the commissioner about a superstar player leaving a small market team and joining a rich market team in the Lakers. The trade would have sent Lamar Odom and Paul Gasol, both of the Lakers, to the Hornets and the Houston Rockets respectfully. Paul was not happy about the situation and spent several hours talking with the Players Union executive, Billy Hunter, and the union is looking into their legal options to push this deal through. It is noteworthy to point out that the Hornets are owned by the NBA. The College Football Awards were held in Florida last night, and here are some of the winners as Coach of the Year went to LSU Les Miles, wide receiver for Oklahoma State Justin Blackman won the Fred Beliknikoff Award for Outstanding Wide Receiver for the second consecutive year. Barrett Jones of Alabama won the Outland Trophy for Outstanding Interior Linebacker. The Vince Lombardi Trophy and the Dick Buckus Awards went to Luke Coochley of Boston College for Outstanding Lineman and Linebacker. And for the players invited to New York for the Heisman Trophy, and Teron Matthew of LSU won the Chuck Betnarik Award for the Defensive Player of the Year, and Trent Richardson of Alabama won the Dope Walker Award for National Running Back of the Year. Continuing with my highlight of players selected to attend the Heisman Ceremony tomorrow in New York, Andrew Luck, quarterback of Stanford, was invited back for the second consecutive year as he ranked fifth in QB rating, amassed 3,170 passing yards, had 34 touchdowns, and nine interceptions. Rush for 153 yards with two rushing touchdowns. Luck, who will enter the NFL draft, had the trifecta at the award ceremony last night and took home the Johnny Unitas Award for Outstanding Quarterback, the Walter Camp Award for Player of the Year, and the Maxwell Award for Outstanding Player. Moving on to Robert Griffin III, better known as RG3, a Baylor, ranked first in QB rating amassed 3,998 passing yards, threw for 36 touchdowns and only 6 interceptions, rushed for 644 yards and 9 touchdowns, and also punted the ball 3 times for 99 yards. RG3 will also enter the NFL Draft and brought home the Davey O'Brien Award, the National Quarterback Award at the College Awards Ceremony last night. And some quick news and notes, Charlie Weiss, former Notre Dame head coach and currently the offensive coordinator with Florida, has accepted to become head coach of Kansas. Also, the Houston Astros introduced their new general manager, Jeff Lunau, on Thursday. Lunau spent the previous eight years with the St. Louis Cardinals and since 2006 had led the Cardinals amateur and player development departments. This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For rates and more information, please email naturallyrelaxed at gmail.com. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cjsports, that's C-E-E-J-A-Y, sports at gmail.com for more information. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at CJ Sports and to listen to previous shows, catch me on YouTube and search CJ Sports. Tune in next time for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little bit of spirituality in your sports. <laughs> I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a positive, productive, blessed day of what's left of it and keep your head down. <laughs>